Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting some cookies and another food illustration in this Inktober 2022. So I will be using same supplies that I did use in my previous videos for previous illustrations and all of them are listed in the description box. I'm starting off with just doing the basic sketch with pencil and I'm gonna do three uh, cookies, three macarons and one of them are gonna be one on top of the other and the third one will be tilted. So first I did drew some of the novels just to place them and then added the details, the central part, then that little crunchy part and the crust on the outside or just those parts that are outside. Not really sure that are cold crust. So when finished with that basic sketch, I was adding ink. This is 01 from Pigma. Again, doing just a basic inking for the edges of the cookie. And then when I went to the crunchy part, I'm just adding somewhat an eighth, something like that doing with my brush, just to make it look like there are some cracks there and some dents. So you know how the macarons look, have that little part. And when finished again with that, I'm adding some shading. This time I'm using 005, a very, very thin brush, again from Pigma, and just adding some shade, some cross hatching here and there, where I think it should be a little bit darker and the shades, the shade is. When I was happy with the entire inking I went to straight to the watercolors and I'm using my own watercolors this is pink from the dream collection and I do want my macarons to be different colors so first one I'm gonna paint pink second one I will be painting green and the third one I will be painting yellow so you can see that I have painted all of the parts but I left some part of the cookie also white. Now adding a little bit, just a tiny bit of the yellow to that green cookie because I do want some parts to be like shinier and reflecting some light. So I was, I left them a white. Also a little bit of the leaf orange just to the, those shaded parts of my third cookie. A little bit of the black just to, this is black with twist, just to add some shading underneath on the table. And then I left it to dry completely. And when it was dry, I'm using this detail brush from Pan Art, just to add a couple of details. And I do want the filling to be chocolate. So I'm adding some coffee brown and also I will add a little bit of the black mixing those two colors on my paper just to make that slightly darker looking like a darker chocolate and also adding a little bit of the pink there also same thing for the second cookie for the green one adding a little bit more of the green in that spot that should be darker in a shadow and also adding a little bit of the black on that crunchier part to make it look like there are some shadows there and making it look like there are cracks. A couple of more details, adding some paint where I think I should add. This is a leaf orange actually quite simple as you can see. I'm not gonna overcomplicate with those details. A little bit of the yellow splatters, a little bit of the pink splatters and of course some black splatters. We are using ink after all. <laughs> so I'm just gonna write in day 6, October 6th. And when this dried I was looking at it and 
a lot of my inking was covered with paint so I decided to add just a little bit more ink here and there and with that I'll be finishing off this illustration and of course this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and you're gonna give it a try of course real-time tutorials real-time videos of this inktober are available for my channel members if you want to read and see how to become a channel member a little bit more about that there is a link in the description box if you haven't still subscribed to my channel well i guess what are you waiting for just do that there are over 400 tutorials there so i'm sure you will find something for yourself again thank you so much guys for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye